Hi everyone, Sam I'm here with Nancy, who you probably know, and Ann, who you probably don't know. Uh, I met Ann on uh, Rock Tumbling Hobby forums years ago, and uh, we hunted together, what, about three or four years ago? Yeah. And uh, so she's back for some more Petoskey stones and pudding stones, so hopefully find a few. <laughs> One or two. <laughs> I hope so. What I just noticed, that's a really nice banded shirt. I got to admit that I just faked a reenactment of finding it. But <laughs> that's a that's a keeper. In the bucket she goes. Hey, I found my first little Petoskey of the day, so nice pattern to it. Small, but not a bad rock. This is a mudstone, not banded shirt, but sometimes the mudstones are pretty cool too. They don't tumble great, but you can get a little bit of a shine on them if you're really careful. <laughs> Guess we're leaving that one behind? Yes, we are. <laughs> That's a pinker than normal rock. Horn coral. Some neat colors in there. And a Petoskey stone. Here's another Petoskey. Nancy looks like she's got something. Yep. Cute little guy. Got a lot of color in that one. I found a pudding stone. That's that's a weird one. I don't know. Yeah, but look at this. <laughs> Is that a pudding stone or not? It's all streaky. That's cool. It's like it, It's like a pudding that got stretched. I know. I've never seen one like that. I don't know what that is. Could it be a pudding that's been through some metamorphic change, maybe? Well, pudding stones are metamorphic. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's neat. Yellow, red, and greenish. Yeah, lots of color there. That's neat. It's a fun mudstone. And all of the swirls. What's the other side look like? Not Ooh, much. Turn it back over. <laughs> Nice fossil. Like a horn coral, huh? So. Oh, kind of a rank three out of ten, maybe on the pudding stone goodness scale. <laughs> is that an official scale? That's the Nancy scale. Yeah. Oh, okay, the Nancy scale. And this is just a nice green rock. Well, green quartz looks like or quartzite. But they both stay here. There's a nice Petoskey stone. Actually, the pits are kind of deep, so sometimes those are really hard. That's actually not that great. It's all uh, porous back there, but it looks good. It might still go home with Ann. What do you think? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> this one I thought was pretty neat. It kind of has almost agony-like bands. That's it's a little too translucent to be like banded shirt, we think, but... Yeah, it doesn't look like your typical banded shirt. Like, look at... Yeah. The, the material looks more quartzy-like and... Right. Shirt is completely opaque, and that's not. That is really cool. Yeah, we'll take looks, that home, look at it in the shop a little closer. Looks like a really hard rock, too. You can see the conchoidal yeah. fracturing on it. Definitely. What do you have there, Ann? Three Ooh. Petoskeys. I like that one. That one's and really that cool. One with the white lines. Yeah. 
think I like that big one the best. That one's that one's neat. Nice finds. <laughs> what do you have? A banded shirt with some great swirls and lines. Those are so awesome. You're going to love tumbling that or cutting it, whatever you do with it. I love that. And a Flavocytes? Fa Favocytes or Charlevoix. Charlevoix stone is the other name for it. It's a fossilized coral. It's got some cool patterns to it. It's got the little uh, the little hexagon, you know, speckly look. They're really small here, but they've also got those kind of layers. You see that? Yeah. Kind of by your thumb there, yeah. Nice. It's a very small pudding stone, but nice. I like the very white matrix to it. Pretty little pudding stone. It's got great color. Yeah. I like it. Me do. <laughs> Trying to sound educated and geologic. They look like a rock. <laughs> Thought you were gonna nice. say something more more impressive. Ooh, I like that little horn coral. Hey, mudstone. Got some nice definition and swirls here and there. I do like the ones that have the wavy lines and the swirly stuff. Yep. That's a good one. My best Petoskey so far. That one's awesome. It's really good. Kind of a weird knob on the bottom of it, huh? Kind of funny shape to it there, but I like it. It's probably where it was attached. Probably, yeah. You're holding it by like the base of it. It's been growing up the way it is right now. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that might be a cold water agate seam through that limestone there. It's definitely harder and has, has a little bit of banding in it. It's my lucky day on banded shirt. Look at that, Ann. Wow. They get that wet. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Holy cow. It looks like the Polish flint. It, it, yeah, it looks very much like that. I've got oh. a piece I tumbled looks exactly like Polish flint. That's amazing. Uh, and I was just out of my sight line when I was walking ahead of you. It's cool fossil. Like... It is cool, but did you see this? Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> Another nice Petoskey. Yeah, that's a, that's a beauty. That should polish up really nice. I find rocks like this in UP a lot, or at least similar to this. You can see that would undercut in the tumbler because that yellow area is softer. Interesting looking rock. There's a platypora. Got some corals in the black matrix. Another sort of fossil. That might be Charlevoix stone. Find something, Nancy? This one right higher than the previous one on my scale of goodness for Petoskey's for Neptoskey. How's this one rate? Uh, we'll call it a seven, not maybe an eight on this side. We don't talk about the other side. Yeah, just turn it over. <laughs> yeah. Very nice one, though. Some uh, nice contrasting colors there. Pretty little Petoskey stone. That's Michigan State Rock. 
called Hexagonaria is the uh, scientific name. Okay, so this is an interesting Koski stone. It's not the greatest pattern, but it's got this pinkish stuff. It must have filled in, I'm just not quite sure. I mean, it's like a feldspar color, but it's not really what I would expect to be found in there, so let me get it wet one more time. First I thought, oh, just something gross is on the, uh, the beach, but no, that's, those are definitely crystals that are grown in there. An interesting rock. Definitely found a keeper here. That one. That's a beauty. got a lot of iron staining on it, but if you kind of look past that, there's some pretty cool veins and stuff going through that one. Did you call that a PCR? A PCR? Pretty cool rock. Pretty cool rock. <laughs> pretty cool rock to leave on the beach, though. What did you find? Another Petoskey. It's pretty, but that big mud right through the middle. Of course. I guess we're going to leave it. Yeah, it's really nice in that little area there, though. It's... And that's what I saw first, and <laughs> then it was a disappointment. Oh, can't win them all. I just picked up this piece of limestone that has little crystal pockets in it. Hopefully you can see the little glittery stuff in there. Some on the top there. I don't know if that's quartz or calcite. I would guess calcite, because that's what limestone's made of. For the main ingredient, I guess. Just love all the lines. How did you ever find that, being all camouflaged like it is? <laughs> you have to <laughs> sneak up on them. <laughs> oh, that's really neat. What did you find, Nancy? Quite a flora. Oh, that's nice. That's a good one. They found some church. Some nice bands. Got wet again. We're doing really well on this stuff today. That's pretty. Green, pink, and black stripes. Yeah, that green would be epidote. And the uh, pink might be feldspar, maybe. Not something anybody's gonna to want to carry home, but it's pretty. I like it. I just picked this one up because it was broken. And I actually saw the broken face, which looks like that. So you can see the ends of all those little coral fingers coming out there. Nancy threw this one down before I could get it on film. It's a uh, chirp. And it's discolored, and you can see where it's worn away in places and not other places. But I'm pretty sure if I tumbled that, it would turn out to all be the same color. So I won't tumble it. There's a piece of limestone with a horn coral sticking out of it, or two of them. Not sticking out, I guess it's worn off. But I was looking at that one, I noticed there's another one right here. Very similar. It's a big, ugly Petoskey stone, but uh, sparkly. Those are the kind that are, I guess, the word salicified. But uh, they don't, they don't do much for lapidary stuff. But they, they're fun to look at on the beach. When uh, Wild Kyle was here, he took a couple home like this because he really likes the fossils, where he's not interested in the lapidary quality but it'd be a good yard rock <laughs> right Nancy just tossed me this rock looks kind of boring here and there but look at that all kinds of little sparkly crystals in there it's got some nice veins in it I like that side the best. Wow, nice mudstone. 
love I, the patterns on it. And yeah. You can almost imagine an old mud puddle drying out. <laughs> right. That's cool. Look at the coral, huh? It's like maybe Bavisites again. Yep. Charlevoix stone. That's neat. Piece. And what do you have? The, the gray lines have a metallic sheen. Yeah, could be iron in there. We get I find banded iron formation here once in a while. That's a cool rock. I found a fossil planarian. <laughs> <laughs> or not. But it's just a cool symmetrical little dude in there. It does look like it. That's really funny. That's funny because you were thinking that and I said it before you could say it to me. Little uh flatworm, right? Yeah. I think that's churred again. A little different than the other ones, but I like it. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Maybe a sandstone, although it's a finely grained one. But it does not tumble well, which is really disappointing because it's super cool looking. What you got there, Ann? Half Petoskey, half Charnavoy. Nice, right next door, just like the, the cities. <laughs> <laughs> Spotted a nice looking little pudding stone down here. What do you think, Ann? Oh, is that a keeper? That's a keeper. <laughs> that is so pretty. That's a good one. I guess I'll let you have it. Thank you. <laughs> Just grab this one. Whoops, almost dropped it. Good thing I'm a juggler. Kind of granite up here, which isn't great, but I really like that white and red contrast. What did you find? Oh, <laughs> didn't even see that. It's a pudding stone, I think. I get it. No, it's no. not. Yeah, I've seen that before. I don't know what that is. If it's a staining or what it is, but they... <laughs> yep. There's another stripey one. Those have fooled me before, though. Thinking they're pudding stones. There's a Petoskey stone. Not a great one. It's really calmed down a lot. There's another pudding stone. A half and a half. It's kind of fun. Hey, I was pretty excited when I found those banded shirts today because I've polished them before and they turn out really cool. So I've got a couple videos linked here showing some that I've polished in the past. I think you'd really like seeing them, so click on one of those and I'll see you over there. <laughs>